this is Wendy Cranford. Today I'm here to show you how to make this really cute little magnet. Okay, um, let's just get started on this. The first thing you're going to need to do is have a piece of magnetic sheet. Now this is Stampin' Up! magnetic sheet and it's retired now, but you can find magnetic sheets in a lot of different places like stores and stuff like that. So it shouldn't be a problem to find sheets of magnets. So I'm going to show you how to cut magnet sheets with using your Big Shot and with your framelits. So this is the new, part of the new Apothecary Accent Framelit set. And I am going to, to cut out my magnet, I am going to take the multi-purpose platform and open up tab 2 so that I have just the platform and tab 1 in use. Then I'm going to stack three pieces of cardstock, these are shims, on top of the platform. Then I'm going to stack my clear cutting plate on top of the platform, followed by my magnet sheet, and I'm putting it paper side up, like so. And then I'm going to place my framelit on top of that, followed by my other acrylic plate. Now I'm going to run these through the big shot. And I'm not sure that was quite enough pressure. Oh, yep, it was. So as you can see on the back, it's made the impression and gone through. So now I'm going to show you how to make sure that you get your magnet out after cutting. So you're going to remove your framelit. And it is going to have cut pretty deep into this magnet, as you can see, but not quite all the way through. So I'm going to zoom in here so I can show you this process. You're going to take your craft and rubber scissors and you're going to cut in just to where a slit is on the magnet. And then you're going to have to hold on to the part that you want to salvage and kind of pull down and basically you're tearing this because it's just holding together. See there, it's just barely holding together. So if you just push down and tear it away, it'll just come out really nice. And then you have your magnetic shape. Okay, you could do that with any of the framelits. So now I'm going to use a piece of Patio Party paper that I've already cut out of the exact same framelit and I'm going to peel off this sticky uh, the white which will reveal this sticky backing and I'm going to lay this piece of paper down very carefully lining it up with the edges on top of this magnet Okay, so now our magnet is covered, and that's the back, okay, and then I used this framelit, it's also from the Apothecary Accents framelit set, and I cut out a piece of summer star fruit, and I went ahead and embossed it with the square lattice frame, uh, square lattice embossing folder. So I'm going to take my paper piercer and pierce a couple of holes at the ends here. And then I'm going to use antique brads to place in the ends of this piece. Okay. And then what I did is I took Stampin' Dimensionals. Um, and on the back of this, I used four. Now, if I was just making a card or something, I, I probably wouldn't use that many. But these brads are heavy, and I don't want them to pull um, way down on, like, the refrigerator and pull this off. So I went ahead and used extra dimensionals, more than I normally would. And I'm just going to layer that right in the center 
like so. Oh, I got it a little crooked here. There we go. Okay. And then I uh, used one more of the framelits from the same set. And I cut out this shape in Whisper White cardstock and I'm using my Raspberry Ripple ink stampin' pad and I'm using the Trust God Sentiment stamp set. This is new from the new catalog. It has a lot of really beautiful sayings on it but the one I'm using today is each one of us is God's special work of art and I'm using that because I am going to be giving each of these to my I'm going to be giving one of these to each of my downline and that is really how I feel about everybody that we're all God's special work of art so um, not just in my downline but in general so it's just stamping that sentiment in the middle and then I'm going to take a sponge with crumb cake ink and I'm just going to sponge the edges of that sentiment. And again, I'm going to use my Stampin' Dimensionals. Two should be fine. And I'm just going to layer it in the center, like so. So this will now be a magnet for the refrigerator that my downline can hopefully enjoy and put on their refrigerator and remind them that they are um, special to me and um, definitely a special work of art in God's eyes. So thanks so much for watching everybody and I hope you're enjoying the new catalog and the new products. Now through June 15th, if you place a $25 order or more from me, you will be entered to win the entire set of new in color stamp pads. So go ahead and place your orders online and you'll automatically be entered to win these. Um, and I'll be drawing a name on June 16th. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day everybody. Bye bye.